everyone, and welcome back to Extracurricular Activities. I'm the trained on professional Decker Link, along with the cameo by the Squeak. Or my three of my most favorite jokes. Um, as a, uh, a dwarf who was a mystic escaped from prison, the call went out that there was a small oh, medium yeah. at large. <laughs> God, I love that joke. It's so fucking funny. On the last episode, we uh, took care of the first half of day 20 of the Coach Grifter route. Uh, now I imagine we're going to try to go through the second half. I think that's all I like to do with these games. Oh, okay. Then does that mean you'd rather go on some more rides or something? Uh, I've been making all the calls. Why don't you fucking choose something and go watch me your damn life? I'm kidding. I'm just being fun with you. How about you decide what to do next? I guess I can, since I've had you choosing everything. Alright, first let's see about spending some of these prize tokens. Yeah, let's see so that we can have shit to haul around. Why don't we do that at the end of the day? Collect all our tokens and then fucking do it at the end. Why? Why? Eh, whatever. Uh, do you have enough to get anything? Well, lucky for us, I had some tokens left over for that I happened to bring with me. So let's see. We can both, uh, we both want two tokens while playing. I have six more with me. Uh, so together we have ten. That's enough one big prize. Well, you have most of the tokens, and I only have two, so here, take mine and get something with it. You sure? I was gonna let you pick something out. No, you do it. Most of the tokens are yours, so get something good! <clears throat> Alright, well, wait here then. Uh, I'll go get something. I won't be long, so have a seat on that bench. I'll be right back. I wonder what he's gonna come back with. I had to not expect to, the prizes to be anything over the top here. Uh, he didn't ha leave you alone for long, and when he uh, when you saw him exit the shop, he was grinning broadly with his hands behind his back as he trotted back over to you. Oh God! They made it really easy for me to choose something. Yeah, what'd you get? The Coach Grifter body pillow uh, case, which is a thing, and so is the Spencer one. Is that actually what it is? No, it's not. Okay, because that's what I was hoping it was. That would be terrifying. You walk into a carnival shop and they sell a body pillow of your naked body? Yeah. Yeah, that would be <laughs> fucking terrifying. From behind his back, he produced a fairly large stuffed bear. I got you this. Oh, you got me a giant bear? Do you like it? Of course, yeah. Of course I like it, Coach. It's wonderful. It's a really cute bear. I'm glad you like it then. It's, it's a way to remember your first time here, too. Anytime I see it, I'll think about you and me having a blast here. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. I'm glad you like it. Okay, things have been a blast so far, but it's getting close to time for us to head out. I have one other thing in mind to do before we leave, so follow me. Alright. The sun was slowly going down, and the lights began popping on all around the rides and attractions. Coach was leading you through the park without telling you where he was taking you, but something caught your eye. Ooh, Coach, let's check this out real quick. What is it? It's one of those old-timey fortune-teller machines. A fortune-teller? If you'd like, I don't see why not. Let's see what she has to say, then. You step up to the machine and press the button to turn it on. There was an old animatronic wizardy woman standing at the table with a glass ball in front of her. She sprang to life when you pushed the button and began speaking. I see the guest today, two faces before me who have come to play. We shall gaze deep into my crystal ball to see what it wants to share to all. Ah, I see. What's this? Oh, my. Quite the fate this ball has shown. It seems one of you has been alone. But once again, you found love inside. For two lovers, I see, side by side. You'll be scary as if you went to a park with your sibling and it said that. Incest machine! She'll put the past behind, forget what has been lost, and move forward at any cost. And after the sentence was spoken, the machine powered off again. Wow, man, that, that's crazy, isn't it? Two lovers, but one of a person made this machine thinking to add stuff like that. Maybe she needs to get her eyes checked. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. We are dating. <laughs> hey, we, we should get moving. The next ride starts to get busy around this time. Sure thing, coach. The two of you abandoned the fortune telling machine and went back to your trek, whatever coat to, to to your trek to whatever coat had in mind. Eventually, he pulled you into a line for the line for the ride. Here it is. It's a Ferris wheel. That's what I wanted. Yay! 
Yep, I wanted to. Oh shit, my voice went bad for a second there. Uh, yeah, it's marbles. Yep, I wanted to make this the last thing we do. The sentence says it gets dark, the lights start to come on, and the top of the wheel, everything looks great. We've been on our feet for a while too, so it's nice to sit and relax and ride for a bit. It takes some time to rotate around. That's not a bad plan. I could really use a break from all the walking we've done around here. Great, we've got uh, to the line just in time too. We'll wait for about ten minutes, and by the time we get on, it'll be a the line will be about an hour long. Jeez, really? Yeah, that's uh, how popular this thing gets at night. You really do get a fantastic view of everything from being up so high. I mean, act calm. Why would you be like, ooh, I don't know? Yeah, it's so high. It really looks like it'll give us a great view. I can't wait till we're at the top. You're really gonna enjoy that. The line moved along slowly, with the Ferris wheel holding each pod at the top of the ride for a short amount of time before continuing its rotation. When I'd be like, <coughs> ah, God, some of the fun is just wee. Uh, after an extended wait, it finally came time for you and Coach to board the ride. You climbed into the pod before Coach Grifter, when uh, he stepped in, sat down, the whole thing rocked back and forth. You ready? Yeah, I'm antsy to see the view from the top. It'll be a little, a little longer, but now's our chance to relax. So sit back and enjoy it. Mm, Alright. The Ferris wheel began to move, raising your pod from the ground, pausing every now and then so people could enter and exit the ride again. Silence shrouded the pod until you started nearing the top of the ride. Oh, even the music got quieter! God, the, they're, they're doing music now! Ah, I'm so proud of this game! We're almost at the top. A couple more minutes and you will have a clear view of everything. You doing alright? Yeah, just looking over through the structure of the ride. Everything looks awesome. Just wait until the ride is no longer in the way. You're gonna love it. After another minute, the pod finally reached the peak of the ride, swinging back and forth when it came to a stop. Wow! Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's nice. I've never been to an amusement park at night before. So nice. Here we are. Take a look at that. Oh wow, the lights do looks pretty, uh, pretty awesome from up here. Everything is so lit up now. I told you, it's a great view. It's really nice. Yeah. It didn't take long for our pod to rock forward as it began its descent. You know, it's been a really great day being out here with you. I have had a great time today, Coach. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. I've been having a blast when we hang out, but today has been the best yet. You made me really happy, Thomas. Thank you for spending the day with me. Uh, thanks for bringing me. I'm really glad you asked me to come out on this date with you. I hope we can go on another date. Yeah, I, I'd really like that. Now, can I ask a favor of you? Yeah, what is it? Would you mind calling me Harold? <laughs> that your first name? Yeah, whenever we're not in class or on the courts, would, would you mind doing that? You don't always have to refer to me as your coach, you know. I guess not, but I'm so used to it. I'll try, but it may take some getting used to. I understand. Yeah, it looks like our ride's coming to an end. Oh, you didn't kiss at the top of the Ferris wheel. Oh, that's like the thing to do, man. Back on the ground again. Yeah, I'm actually starting to feel pretty hungry now. We haven't eaten anything since we got here. You're right. I, I try to avoid their food since it's way overpriced. It's good, but I'm glad, I'm glad you didn't think about it. I figured we could grab something to eat on the way back. We could stop by my place, eat and chat for a bit, and I could take you home. How's that sound? I like that idea. Shall we get going then? We shall. <laughs> ah, we're back at the place again. Ah, that was some good food, whatever the fuck we ate. I feel a little bushed after the day we had. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I'm really happy that you decided to take me out tonight, Coach. <laughs> hey, what I say about you call me that? You're alone with me, so you can call me Harold from now on, okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Repeat my name. Harold. What are you going to call me from now on when we're together? Harold. What's my name? Harold! <laughs> yeah, I think I'll stick with you eventually. He leaned back with a content sigh, giving his stomach a pat. Man, it's been a great day. You have no idea how much fun it's been for me. Yeah, it really was a blast. I mean, I enjoyed myself quite a uh, more so enjoy myself quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I'm sure I told you this before, Thomas. But but but, but Thomas, Thomas, 
Thomas, God damn it, Thomas. I'm sure I told you this before, but Thomas, you've really done a lot to make this bear's life so much happier lately. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that, Harold. Uh, you've really brought a lot of joy to me t lately, too. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that, too, then. Coach Grifter had scooted over tor towards you while he spoke. It's nice, you know, seeing that there are actually someone out there who cares about you. I haven't felt like this in quite a while. The bear put his paw against your cheek and looked into your eyes. On top of that, you're just so damn cute. <laughs> your face burned and you averted your eyes. <gasps> are you trying to embarrass me now? Maybe. It just makes this a little easier. Harold put your face towards his, your eyes fixated back on the two emerald-colored orbs looking back at you. The next moment your eyes were closed and you felt his- Oh, you're kissing! Finally! Christ, it's been a while. And you felt his lips touch yours. The warmth of his lips uh, was joined by the light tickle of his fur against you, setting your whole face on fire! His hand rubbed your cheek and slipped under the back of your head, keeping your lips locked with his. After a heat, but short kiss, he sat back abruptly. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I kind of lost control of myself there. It, it's fine. He jumped back so suddenly. So, uh, how about I get you home now? It, it's getting late and I, I don't like driving when I'm tired. Well, then how about you just not let me stay the night here? That way you don't have to go back out. You, you'd you want to stay here? Sure, we could even do something tomorrow if you'd like. Really? I love that. I've been meaning to go buy some new clothes, but because I, because I keep ruining my shirts. And so, I, uh, I keep popping the buttons off. My stomach's got a little too large for some of my clothes. Oh, I know I'm fat. <laughs> Don't worry, Harold. Uh, we'll get you some new clothes. I bet we can find something that makes you look even more handsome than you already do. Thanks, Thomas. Well, I guess we're going to stay here. I need to get a few things for you, so I'll be back in a moment. Harold disappeared down the hall into his room while you sent Maria a text about your plans. He was gone for ten minutes before he returned. Here's a shirt for you to sleep in, since I don't have anything small enough to really fit you properly. It'll at least work for, uh, like a nightgown. <laughs> Here's a blanket and some pillows for you, too. Oh, I could sleep on the couch, not on the floor, right? I thought you had a guest room. What the fuck? Of course. I put out some mouthwash in the guest bathroom for you, so... You can freshen up a little before you sleep. Yeah, thanks for that. I suppose I'm ready for some sleep then. Help yourself to anything in the fridge, and if you need me, I'll keep my door open. I'll try not to wake you up in the morning if I'm up before you. Oh, it's fine. I'm used to getting up early anyway. <laughs> okay. You give your forehead a quick kiss. Good night, Thomas. Night, Harold. Well, pfft. it's going so well. Time to get ready for bed. I would have much rather slept in his room, but I don't suppose he's ready for that. I guess I'll have to see how things progress from here. Oh, god damn it! You didn't have a choice to, to go into his room after- Oh, damn, man, that's... Really? Really, you couldn't... I thought day 20 was supposed to be the, the day that there was some, like... Some, like, a little, I don't know. I don't know, like, I, I haven't really read a lot on the whole, uh, uh, let me save here real quick, a lot on the, the change to the update log, so I haven't, I haven't had the opportunity to fucking really get a grasp of what's coming up, uh, mainly because I don't want to, I, I like being surprised by games like this, Pretty, every visual novel I play, I am playing it blind, so it's, uh, really a, a, a completely new experience for me, uh, as well. Uh, that does detriment to my reading ability, but that also means that every reaction I give is completely honest, and I, I believe that that's uh, pretty valuable. At least it is to me. I don't know if anyone else gives a shit. But anyway, um, I guess that's the end of the Coach Grifter run. Uh, let's see what the author's notes are. I don't know what uh, what other to say other than I hope you had fun and that wait was worth it. Thanks for so much for reading, guys. Of course, feedback is always welcome. I have a special post to discuss spoilers, so please check that out. Thank you for the support, and I'll see you next time. And there it is. There, it's, um... That's the end of the Coach Grifter run so far. Up to day 20, and then we did Darius up to a certain amount of days. Uh, I think this episode's been long enough to be an episode on its own. It's a very short episode compared to all the other ones, but you know what? I really don't feel like tacking it on, having a fucking 
40 minute episode of uh, extracurricular activities. So uh, yeah, that's all the updates for Darius and Coach Grifter so far, which means that by the time I get around to recording this again, as long as it hasn't been updated again, then uh, I will be doing the, the Spencer route. And I've given this disclaimer already, so I'm not going to go into as much detail as I have before, but the first episode of the Spencer route won't be blind because I did an episode that had the old voice for Spencer that everyone hated, and while I was editing it, I couldn't, I, I hated the fact that everyone was going to hate it, so I got rid of it, so, yeah. Um, just realizing how fucking goofy the fucking shoes look. <laughs> Oh god, those, those look like some goofy shoes. But anyway, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I have been the trained on professional speaking for the voices that I have when I say, very well. Bye, everyone! Ah, short episode, it happens sometimes. Fuck. <laughs>